Hi guys, I'm Shmi, and today on the X6 Tour, I'm at Spa Francorchamps for the Ferrari Corsa Cliente XX program. This is the day where Ferrari owners with their FXXKs, 599XXs, FXXs, or their Formula One cars can come and enjoy the circuit. The only problem is the weather is not on the side today, and I'm standing under an umbrella at a very, very wet Spa Francorchamps today. However, the good news is that over there in the paddocks, we have six FXXKs, the new hybrid hypercar race car version of the LaFerrari. We have 12 599XXs and XX Evos, and one Ferrari Enzo FXX. You can just see poking its nose out there. Down the other way, there are a series of Formula One cars. We'll be able to check out all of these and hear them going around the circuit today. For the moment though, on the assumption that not much is happening with this weather, I'm going to take a walk around the paddock and have a closer look at these cars. Let us take a look around then at the FXX K. Named the K because it is a LaFerrari with the Kurs energy system. 6.3 litre V12, total 1,021 brake horsepower. 885 of that comes from the V12, 188 from the electric systems. Less than 40 of them are going to be made. And they're 2.2 million euros each. And we have six of these here. A serious hardcore beast. Just looking straight in here at the carbon tub. Seat position is completely fixed. You move the pedal box and stuff around just like the road car. But that's a, a pretty cool uh, looking interior. The doors open up. One of the, I think, best, coolest design things for me is the, uh, the sort of rear wing spoilers just on the sides. It's a menacing diffuser down there as well. Obviously, it maintains most of the design and look of the LaFerrari road car. This one's very nice, sort of pearly silver, white kind of silver, and then a normal white car here. This one's quite a well-known car at the moment. Belongs to because, because race wife, wife of Google exec Ben Sloss. She's just bought this car to match Ben's 599XX Evo that he bought a few years ago in the charity auction over there. So it looks like the car's getting set to head out, but it looks awesome in the yellow and blue. US flags on the spoiler. Let's take a look over the engine bay. You can see the uh, yellow stripe down the center as well. Nice little touch. Obviously, the Ferrari Corsa Cliente program offers a pretty bespoke service to show drivers that allow them the opportunities to head to some of the best circuits in the world. Hence, being here at Spa today.
clouds are awesome. That FXXK in yellow looks so good. I'm sure you'll agree, there are not many sounds in the world better than this. Just a shame I have to be holding the umbrella because it's so wet today, although the noise of the XX That's a 599 XX Evo blasting away there around the track. At the end of the start straight here, just listening to everything come by is truly, truly awesome. I love these days. Probably some of the best sounding cars you can ever hear. And we've just got, I think, maybe seven or eight of them out on track at the moment, just cruising around. Probably taking a bit easy first session of the morning, of course. And being such a wet one, I'm sure none of them want to end their weekend two-day period here too quickly. So I'm just going to keep watching what's going on. With the cars coming back into the pits then after the first session, let's take a look around at the Ferrari 599XX. I particularly like this car, dark navy, with the sort of silvery white contrast. Looks awesome. Of course, this is based on the 599 GTB. These cars sort of used for development purposes, lots of practice, and sort of understanding new things that they then can use in the road cars, and different technologies and the like. Sort of like a development program that the owners can be part of and come and attend these days. You get six days a year, I believe, at some of the world's famous race circuits. And this is actually the 599XX Evo, the Evoluzioni, which is like the development um, upgraded package, so there's a sort of 200 euro or so package that you could upgrade from the earlier 599XX to the XX Evo that gave it the new wing at the back, a couple of other bits and bobs and new look to it and the side exit exhaust up front, the exhaust tip used to be towards the back. Although from my experience going out in these cars it gets spectacularly hot inside and with the exhaust right there in the passenger foot, well, it gets even hotter. Uh, but these things are always amazing to see and just be around. Truly, truly awesome. This one's just being wiped down after its outing. Menacing, menacing race car. 599XX. cool being around the paddocks and hearing the noises of everything going on. Take a look in the second side. A few more cars. Lots of them wearing hashtag Chow Jules on the front, which is a nice little tribute to Jules Bianchi there. I've seen that on a couple of cars. So all of the 599XXs here are the Evos. The matching yellow the 512 car that goes with the owner's wife's FXXK. This car was done and won um, in the charity auction, um, which was when there was a, an earthquake that affected the modern region of Italy. So Ferrari put the car up for auction. And Mr. Ben Sloss won that auction. Um, there's a story about that at the time. And I filmed this car, I think, on its first outing at Monza after that, but awesome to have the two husband and wife cars, very special. And then here we have the FXX, the first of these XX program cars that was introduced, sort of opening up the idea which has now been, I guess, followed on by many manufacturers. You've got the McLaren P1 GTR, the Aston Martin Vulcan, and I'm sure there are more in the works as well. The FXX was based on the Enzo, of course. You can see there's a lot of that. And people now seem to be turning them into road legal cars, which is quite funny. I'm not entirely sure how legit that is because you can see the door mirrors consist of those cameras that have screens on the inside. Um, in the center dashboard here, you have the screens for the rear view mirrors. Sorry, you can't really see that with the light, but for the rear view mirror and the door mirrors um, or cameras. So. It's pretty nice to be able to take a look around. This thing is just absolutely stunning. That's my favorite FXXK. The cars we have here. Let's take a look at the sides again. Have a peek around. So crazy. Most 
of the day is going to be spent indoors. <laughs> Not going to enjoy standing outside for very long. But just awesome to be around here and be able to see all of this stuff, really. This one has two manpower, three manpower. No, I joke. Over a thousand brake horsepower. Insanely powerful machines. I'm also just going to go and head out outside because I've seen something pretty cool out back. Look what we have here. An orange LaFerrari. Customer road car. In orange, what a brave choice. Pretty sure I'd have some black wheels with that color. That is unusual. <laughs> Just listen to that noise. <laughs> 99 LaFerrari is one of them right here. Over in the background there we've also got a blue and white 599 GTO and the Rolls Royce Ghost I think. But goodness me, look at the colour of this thing. Let's head back into the pits. This is a pretty special room. If we have any F1 fans out there, probably you're in heaven right now. Or you would be if you were here. But at least I can share this with you. Ferrari F1 cars of all different generations. I wish I knew enough to tell you exactly what year every car was. But I'm definitely enjoying taking a good look around in here. This is insane.
unfortunately for the afternoon session that the rain has given way and that is making this substantially more bearable. Phenomenal. The noise these cars make is mind-blowing. You see the glowing brakes as well. Wow, what a sound. This is so awesome. session then the car's now going away back into the pit garages we even managed to get a couple of exhaust flames as well as the glowing brakes awesome to see and hear these things in action so special fantastic The sun is attempting to point through the clouds just in time for the last couple of runs of the day. The FXXK is all lined up though now in the garage. The 599XX is... I'm not going to attempt to talk over that, it's so loud, but the noise is phenomenal. The 599XX is all blasting around still.